Last year, Olympus pretended to go out of business to gain pity from us in order to release a camera that might not wow anybody, but still be respected amongst its peers. And so they released the Olympus OM Mountain System 1 OM-1 by OMDS. And here it is. We have the reviews now. So we now know all the pros and cons, right? Or do we? You bunch of shell freaks, I oughta slap your- All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I'm disappointed in my fellow cameraman. Yeah, I said it. I don't know if it's just because it's Olympus. I've never seen this type of behavior. Usually, the same group of people release their camera reviews and we can rely. If you ever want to know anything about a camera, you go to Gerald Undone first. It's like, okay, there's everything. That's pretty much all I had to know. Then you go to clean up the crumbs. You go to Gordon Lang for the technical bits that Gerald was too bored to test. And then you come here to watch my review of their reviews. And you're good. You got an all rounding vlogging and wildlife perspective. We're good to go. When Olympus releases a camera, I didn't know the freaks came out from the hallways and they're like, I reviewed it. These hunchback freaks. Not only do they not tell me what I need to know, they lie to my face and they like it. I must have watched 18 reviews of the OM1 yesterday when it was announced. Not one negative. Nobody had a problem with anything. Oh, this is just fantastic. I can't believe Olympus has done this. Every single person was paid in silver, possibly pearls, to just compliment. Oh, these were advertisements. I want to punch. Even the people I can usually trust were not allowed to speak. I think Olympus put out gunshots, gunfire, and they said, don't say anything about the video. So DP review, they review it for photography and then a little a one minute segment. Jordan comes on like, oh, sorry, I didn't test the video. We'll do it. Why wasn't that released on launch? I will launch your mom into space. Space isn't real, we all know that. The earth is flat. And then Gordon Lang. Gordon Lang. He brings it on in here. He's walking. He's reviewing cameras. Didn't test the damn thing. Not once did he test it. Not one feature. What happened, Gordon? What happened, Gordon? Usually, he tests everything. I guess he wasn't allowed to test or post the footage. Nothing. So thankfully, somebody reached out to me through email saying they have the camera, they've just written a review, and if I have any questions, shoot, shoot, I'm here for you. I got the thing. So thank you so much. We got answers to the things we need. Thanks to amateur photography. Photographer. I should have should have wrote that one down. Amateurphotographer.co.uk. You take that to the bank. Best reviews on the planet. So he wrote his review. I asked him a bunch of questions and now we know. Did they fix a bunch of shit or not? So let's just talk a little bit about what Olympus fixed, what they didn't. And should we be excited for the Penny Boy coming soon to a theater near us? Okay, so first thing, animal detect, autofocus. In video, I haven't seen it. It doesn't appear to work. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote any of us. I may have misread that one, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Someone let me know down in the comments if you know this for sure, but in other cameras too, like the Canon R5, does the animal detect work in slow-mo in 4K 120p, 1080p 120p, stuff like that? You tell me. R6, can you do that? I don't know, because Olympus slow-mo, no, not one person mentioned this. It's same, single autofocus before recording. You, It's manual focus only, basically. A little side rant on the slow motion tests from my wonderful community here. Who decided that filming a car in slow motion was a good idea or interesting in any way? If I wanted to see a slow car, I would start a traffic accident. I've done it in the past on purpose. It's fun. It's not interesting. You went out at nighttime, it looks like trash. ISO 59,000 if it was a foot. Do something. 
a human being, something really fast that you can't normally see is what slow motion is for, not cars. Oh, look how slow the tires, they do spin. They do spin, hun, the tires spin. They grip the earth. They grip our earth. And as they rotate, that's what propels the car that way. Fuck you. I think it was Wex photo video or something like that. They're in the UK. I used to really like their reviews. It's not like they're terrible or anything, but they had a video guy that talked all about the video stuff. And now she was like, okay, and now let's give this camera to our video guy and he'll get a bunch of shit. And it was a bunch of bullshit is what it was. Just, it was nighttime. Like it was an afterthought. Like, oh, look at this landscape. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm going to jump in front of the camera, even though it's 8 p.m. Slow motion at 8 p.m. with no lights. Here's what the Olympus is capable of. It's like, my God. So it is manual focus. There's a 33% crop up from the 31%. I don't mind it. Thank you. You know what that does to an Olympus lens? If you have the 100 to 400, you now have a, yep, I should have looked that up, a 1,064 millimeter lens for slow-mo. Like, that's magic. That is magical. You could get anything. Sure, your bird will fly out of the shot and you won't catch a damn thing because you're so tight. I've done it. I've done it. I'd continue to do it. I don't mind it. But 240 frames per second, 8-bit. That's bullshit. That hurts. It was like the Penny Boy. When you switched to 180 frames per second, you could no longer film in HLG. So all the color profiles like, oh, natural only? Dynamic range gone? It's like, ah. You gonna do that to me again, Penny Boy? GH6? G hell six. So it's hard to judge by what we've seen online, what the quality of it's gonna be like. But as I've seen, I went out the other day to take the Sony 4K 120p versus my Olympus 1080p 120p. Side by side, it's like, yeah, the Sony's a little sharper, but it's, it's not like anything to write home about. Most of the clips looked better in the Olympus because I could get closer with that longer lens. It's much easier to get longer reach on a micro four thirds. And it's like, wow, really? The Sony cost how many thousands of dollars? That's like a $9,000 setup versus like maybe three, 2000, I don't know, cheap. So anyways, moving along from the slow-mo, we got no more 30 minute limit. That's fantastic. And there's no more file splits. So they fixed like a major issue. It's just one long file. Don't quote me on that, but I've heard it confirmed. So that's nice. It was so annoying to have two left click, boom, every two minutes splits. You can now record video settings in the custom modes. Nobody said it. I had to ask amateur photographer and he went, he dove deep in midnight. His wife was begging him to come have some sandwich time in the bed. And he said, no, I got to do this for camera conspiracies. He checked it 4k 60p on custom one. Boom. He switched right into HD 240 frames. So now Olympus operates like a Panasonic used to without pig like skin. I'm liking that. One thing they didn't fix, however, was log is still over sharpened and you can't change it. They might be the only company that doesn't allow you to change any of the settings. So sharpness on max, it's like, oh, look how sharp we are, but it's like digital sharpness. It doesn't look right. I don't mind it for the wildlife because you kind of want that sharp anyway, but for the face, it was always like my beard was looking weird, like just sharpness artifacts. It was like a Canon RP painful but if you do it right you can manage it's not terrible but no you cannot tweak and that should have been fixed i'll fix your mom a sandwich what we don't know is if they fix the audio preamps which were very hissy on the olympus em13 i don't know if they fixed it or not nobody's testing it nobody even mentioned it it's just like it has a mic jack that's the only thing i heard so not a lot of people own Olympus systems to even know that was a problem. They probably didn't even record audio in their videos. So who knows? Hopefully it's fixed. I doubt it. A couple more handicaps and then some positive notes. 10 bit is H265 only and log and HLG only. So all our little custom profiles, no 10 bits. My little vintage 
Nope. And I don't know if it's choppy still, probably. Not that, like, I don't know. I'm getting used to filming in log anyway. So there we have that. But flat was a really good profile. You barely had to touch it. It was fantastic. And now that's not 10 bit. Why? We now have zebras and a red record frame. Both fantastic. I could never expose on my Olympus because I had no idea what to trust. Do you trust the metering, the little dials? Like you can't really. So there was no zebras. Now I know. Boom, 70% zebras. Make them disappear on your face and you're good. Now we can do that. Thank you. And now I'll know if I'm recording or not. It always had just like a tiny little flashing thing here barely see it. The last thing I want to mention before we drool about the Panasonic GH6 coming, the go to hell six. New Sony menu, basically. Olympus had terrible menus and now they fixed it. And I think DP Review was making fun of it because they basically went back to the old Sony menu that everybody hated and demanded change from. But everybody's like, they fixed that, this is so much better. But they do have one cool thing. When you have a grayed out thing, we've all heard it. It'll now tell you why it's grayed out. I think they should have taken it a step further and allowed you to change that thing from right there. Just like this is grayed out because this is on. Do you want to turn it off? Yes. Then boom, like we're right there. Now I have to go search somewhere. I don't know where it is. I have to dive. I don't have those like air supplies. Personally, I didn't mind the old Sony menu system. I don't really care. Like they have the my menu, so that should work. I just, I would like to see my menu where we can customize and color code different things within my menu and label them. Okay, this is my autofocus section and edit that title in there, red, and then blue for exposure settings and something like that. Why is like my, it's just very basic. You got all these fancy colors in your menu and then my is just no. We removed all that fun. So as we await the Panasonic go to hell six, I wonder. So I'm pretty happy with this little setup. EM13, 75 to 300, got the lens hood for it. It's, it's wobbly. It's bigger than the lens itself. That's a bitch. Thank you, China. This is decent, but I kind of want to see what's the 100 to 400 like. Is it more stable with the two axis in the lens? Maybe that just takes out all the shakes. Cause this is very jerky. Like even side by side with the Sony in slow-mo, like just Ibis on a telephoto lens, it's very like large movements. You see that? Like it's worse than the Sony. I thought it was better. It's much worse, much worse. To demonstrate why that is picture, this is the sensor. Here's your lens. And you're, you're doing these little movements on a wide angle lens and they're fine. They're sinking, they're doing stuff. You go tell a photo and then things get really weird. And it's like these giant shifts. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You think you're holding it steady and it's like, wow, I'm not at all. <laughs> it's really bad. So I wanna see lens stabe. The only thing that I'm wondering with the Panasonic GH6, you get yourself a 100 to 400 with the dual stabe. That might be so much better and it is lighter. Panty Boy's gonna have the better video specs. We all know that. And if you're manually focusing anyway, how do you not go with the Panasonic over the Olympus? Unless you're doing YouTube, then Olympus is the much better, easier. We know the autofocus is gonna work. Or is the depth from our heart about to make its final firmware appearance? Is the DFD finally something respectable? It could be, you never know. Maybe they perfected it, I hope they did. And it's just like the pulses are gone. We smoothed them out with algorithms, photo diodes. They're in there. It might be, might surprise us. But they got 4K 120p, rumored to have 260p. That's a lie. There's no way, like they don't do that. They go up by 120 and sometimes by half. So Panasonic, instead of 120 frames, did 60 more, 180 frames. Most people went all the way to 240. 260 doesn't even sound real. It would have to be 360 for real fun. So I feel like if you're that snobby filmmaker who's taking control of everything, you're exposing your false colors in there. Can you, I wanna try that. Imagine the exposure. 
and you're manually focusing, you got good IBIS, it's like you would go with the Panasonic. It has the much better video features, but if you want more auto modes and just like, I want to press record and you do it, it's the Olympus I think is gonna shine. But then we got the Fuji X-H2 coming. Who knows what that's gonna be, but... Ow, my best. Fuji caused me to miss a shot the other day. I'm going, I see a bunch of birds on a railing. Trust me, that was a shot that you wouldn't want to miss. And they were gonna fly off in slow motion. I was like, okay, there they are. Boom, on, zoom, focus, focus, focus. Oh my God, why? Why is this taking so, oh, I was the wrong way. Nailed it, they're all gone. That's good, they already flew off. Who designed this? For manual focus, it's 15 throws to get from one leap to the next. And that's in linear, the proper one. If you go to non-linear, it jumps like a freak and there's no predicting it. You can't fine tune it. Somebody, please tell me down below. I said, summony. I summon you to tell me if the 100 to 400 is also like that. At 400 mils, is it like 15 turns to get some movement in the autofocus, manual focus? Because that's, that's causing me to miss shots. That's bullshit. Otherwise, I would prefer the Fuji system. Help! Those fun times ahead. I can't wait for the GH6 to see what are the final specs. Hopefully, Gerald Undone gets his hands on it. Come back to us, Gerald. Stop finding yourself. I know we're all lost inside. We have no joy. What's the point? I get it. Find it in there. We need you, buddy. We need your live streams. We need your personality. More than your tech savviness we need you back come back just if storyblocks is holding you gunpoint you let me know and i'll come and i'll i'll do a shot for you a spot i'll leave so let me know your thoughts down below panty boy will they do it will they do something will the autofocus ruin our lives they might not might be good they have animal detect with contrast pulsing that could be something good. In slow-mo, it'll probably be manual focus only. That's fine. Honestly, the stabe doesn't matter much if you're in slow-mo, so all my little tweaks. But it does, kind of. We saw it. We saw the floaty footage of just Ibis in slow-mo. It's distracting. It's not terrible. It doesn't ruin the shot. But it ruins my heart. I'm gonna leave. After you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. You could hit any button down there, except the thumb down one. That one hurts me.